What is quantitative research? Cohen, Mannion, and Morrison, in their book published in 2004, define quantitative research as a systematic and scientific investigation of data and their relationships. As many of us may already know, the goal of quantitative research is prediction. The objective of quantitative research is to develop and employ mathematical models, theories, and hypotheses pertaining to natural phenomena. Measuring is key in quantitative research. It is because it shows the relationship between data and observation. There are four types of quantitative research as listed in key elements of a research proposal at bcps.org. The first one is descriptive, the second one is correlational, the third one is causal, comparative or quasi-experimental, and the fourth type is experimental. Now, how do we decide what to use for our quantitative research? When should we go descriptive? When do we go for correlational research? When do we conduct a causal comparative or quasi-experimental research? When do we go for experimental research? Let me show you how the recommended decision-making process goes. We ask a series of questions starting from, will there be an intervention or treatment? If not, ask, is the primary purpose an examination of relationships? If not, you go for a descriptive design. If yes, ask, will the sample be studied as a single group? If yes, then you go for a correlational design. If not, that will be a descriptive design. If yes, there will be an intervention or treatment. Ask, is the treatment tightly controlled by the researcher? If not, then you go for a quasi-experimental design. If yes, ask, will a randomly assigned or selected control group be used? If yes, then you go for an experimental design. If not, that will be a quasi-experimental design. To recap, we went over what is quantitative research, what are the four types of quantitative research, and the proper decision-making process that must be followed in choosing which type of design we will use. Each of the four types of quantitative research design may have its distinct uses and possibly its advantages and disadvantages, but all this can be discussed in another presentation. For questions or comments, email me at mam89 at psu.edu.